hear it. Hey there. Wow, I just want to start singing a song to that. Gail Boy has this a cool page called Alternative Venues for Jazz. Hi, you guys. My name is Jenna Mamina. I am here right now live with you on Alternative Venues for Jazz, which I know she started in April of 2020. And I was a guest the first week and I had COVID. And so I was, hey, Patty. Hi, Patty. And I was like, <laughs> so every anyway, my name is Jenna and I sing and although I could really not talk that much and I was actually sitting over there in that corner on the floor for a very long time. Hi there. Thank you, Gail, for inviting me back. Hey, Facebook user. I don't know who you are, but hi, I'm I'm a little nervous because I do this twice a day. I host a live stream called 1111 with Jenna, and it's my show. But right now, it's Gail's show. It's all of our shows. Each of our shows we do for a community, and I'm just honored to be here again. And hi, Facebook user. I hope this is, does this stream onto my page also, or do I do that later? I don't even know. But I have, there are some suggested topics that I'm going to look at. Who was the first jazz musician you remember hearing? Nat King Cole. My mom will tell you, I used to, poor thing, I used to stay up till two or three o'clock in the morning cooing to Nat King Cole. You can share it to your page later. Okay, cool. Um, here we are. There's, I know there's some 11 11ers on here. Thanks you guys for your support. This is, this is a new one because I've never been on StreamYard and, and it's, it's just, it's a whole different, it's a whole different vibe, but I love it. So Nat King Cole as a baby and I would coo till late in the night and thank you very much, Patty. Patty's always sharing my shows. Oh, I love this woman. And I would, I'd coo, but I think Ella was the first singer that I heard. My dad played something of hers for me as a child. And then when I was 20 years old, just shy of 21, I was invited to go see Ella at the, um, the hotel in San Francisco at that room that I can't think of right now. Somebody help me. And she was there for three nights and I saw her on Friday night with my date. And then Saturday I took a bus and Bart, another bus and I walked, I don't even know how many blocks up to the Fairmont Hotel and saw her a second night. And then that Sunday night, I went back and I did the same thing from Oakland. I took a bus to Bart, bus to my feet and walked all the way up the hill. And the third night I yelled out the Venetian room. Thank you. I yelled out, I love you, Ella. And she looked out and she goes, I love you too, but don't you ever go home? And I went, Ella Fitzgerald, talk to me. And then I was invited backstage and I got to meet her. And I think that was, yeah, I was a week shy of my 21st birthday. And that kind and I'm looking at a book right now, the history, I didn't even realize this was here, but it's the history, jazz, a history of America's music. That was my brother's book, my brother Nino, who also was a singer. And he has a couple of CDs out that I always like to encourage people to check out. His name was Nino Mamina. So he was probably, my parents were both, my dad sang and he played accordion and we had an organ and my mom sang in a trio with her sisters. And then my brother Nino, my sister Lisa, my brother Mitch and I were a quartet at church. Nino played guitar, the three of them played guitar and we used to do the Saturday night mass at church. They called us the singing maminas, you know, sort of a joke because sometimes 
everybody that was up on the altar, my dad would be the lector, my cousins were the altar boys, my mom or a cousin would be reading and we would be singing. And the only person we weren't related to was the priest. But he ended up becoming, Father Samino was one of our closest friends. So <sighs> what is the first jazz album I purchased with my own money? Uh, Johnny Hartman, John Coltrane, ballads with my own money. And current projects. Current projects that I have going on right now are 11, 11 with Jenna, which is my every day, twice a day, 11, 11 a.m. and p.m. And it is a project. It's a community. And thank you. It is. Oh, yeah. Not thank you. It is a great. It's my favorite record. It's still my favorite record of all time. But um, Jenna and the Charmers is a band that I work with Jeremy Steinkohler, who's a drummer and Steve Bissinger on, on bass. And then we have a couple of different, uh, I'm sorry, Steve, guitar. Steve Bissinger, guitar extraordinaire. Jeremy Steinkohler, drums extraordinaire. And different bass players that we work with. And we just did a gig. Oh, isn't that just the best record? I love that record. I could listen to it anytime. Anyone can join. Come on, join us, won't you? Um. So Jen and the Charmers, we did a gig two weekends ago in Berkeley, and we have a record out called Everyone I Love Is Here that I'm really proud of. And we have a great time playing together. We only, we've played two gigs since 2020. And I always just, I don't even acknowledge, I just go since, you know, we've played two gigs and they were both incredible. And next month I will be working at, with my friend Michael Peltz, who has Peltz Porch Productions. Thank you for your porch and your production value is great. And I've been doing a lot of driveways. Yeah, outdoor driveways. But Rolf Sturm and I have been, that was my project pretty solid that I was working on, um, you know, for the last five years. And we've been touring a lot a lot, a lot, a lot. And then we hope to be doing that again. And we're working on um, a recording project that is going to include Sheila Jordan, James Genus, Melanie Damore, and a bunch of really, really, really great musicians that I could go on and on. And Rolf, if you're here, tell tell more people. I can't think of who else is on it right now, but like really amazing group of people. And that was what we were going to be doing last March, April, May, but maybe this March, April, May. My current project, some advice you received from older musician. Who was that musician and what did they tell you? Abby Lincoln to enjoy being on the stage because being a singer on the stage is the best job in the world and to not be nervous. And when I would sing Abby's songs, I lived with her for quite a while. And then when I would come home, I would do a gig at the knitting factory or some other place, the wetlands and all these and smaller clubs and I would come home and I, I'd say, Abby, I sang Throw It Away, Bird Alone, and Music is the Magic, and she'd go, good for Abby. So whenever I sing an Abby song, I say, good for Abby. I'm trying to think who else. So many. I've, I've, I worked at a lot of different clubs, and I was able to be living, I worked at K-Jazz. So I met Nancy Wilson. I met, I just, I, I was the receptionist. I worked for Bob Parlocha, who was the program director at K-Jazz. And I used to have, I used to open up all the CDs and the albums and he would test me to see what I would pick. And then he'd 
hit me to something that I didn't know about before. So that was always a good time. So I worked at K Jazz and my friends worked at Kimball's and my friends worked at Yoshi's. And so we got to go to both Kimball's in the city and in the East Bay kind of all the time. And I don't, I, I saw Dizzy, I saw Betty, like days in a row, Eartha Kit, Sun Ra, just, it was an education and we could do it seven nights a week. And sometimes you'd be at Kimball's for an eight o'clock show and then race over to Yoshi's for a 10 o'clock show. Who gets to do that? And then I lived in New York and got to do that at there as well. <sighs> Any advice you want to give to younger musicians to keep them encouraged? That being on the stage is the best job in the world. I still get nervous. So I don't say don't get nervous. Have fun and be nice. Have fun and be nice because being nice goes a long way in this business. I've known, I was trying to think about that last night, how long Gail and I have known each other. And I think 1996, 97, because I used to go to IAJE or um, jazz conferences prior to making my first record in 99. So that particular group of people we're still friends with. We are our own family. Joining late, but enjoying getting the Jenna backstory. Oh, oh, thank you. I don't know about superstar, but my mom thinks so. My dog thinks so. My dog's name is Lillian Pearl. Do you guys have animals? I'm all about the animals and all about my mom. My label is called Mama Grace Records. But yeah, it's, I really think that Facebook or, um, Jazz Times, Jazz Times Convention, exactly. And uh, and then it became IAJE, and then it became Jazz Congress, and now it's on Zoom. And I don't know, are we going back in January? Um, I think, I bet they will. Your mom is online, but she is listed as Facebook user. Tell your friends to allow StreamYard to use their names. You guys... Let press on there where it's allow StreamYard to use your names and I will see who's writing to you, to me. Mom, if you don't get it, it's no big deal. I know you're there. She's my biggest fan and I'm grateful for her. My label is called Mama Grace Records. I have, I think 11 records on that label at this point and I wanna make 12th, but my 12th record will be on Water Street which is with Rolf, and that is, our website is jenna-rolf.com, and then also Jen and the Charmers. And any other darn thing I wanna talk about? What do I wanna talk about? Gail, I wish you would just come on and hang out with me here, because, you know, there's still 15 minutes left, and I'm really great. Oh no, there's even more, I think. I'm even, I'm great at talking to myself. Hey, Rob Morocco. Which part do you agree with? Thank you for agreeing about the animals. I'm drinking my hot water. I drink it all day long. I work with new musicians. I do consulting with new artists and I'm kind of, um, I'm not a self-proclaimed Renaissance person in the music business, but I have been a manager. I have been a booking agent. I'm an artist. I'm a producer, I'm a publisher because I've written songs and um, I'm an educator. And, oh, 15 minutes to shine. It's so shiny, I wish you guys, it's so beautiful here today. The lake is over there and loud cars are back there and you're probably hearing that, but the lake is really beautiful right now. And maybe sometime, you guys, anybody that wants to come on to my 1111 with Jenna show, I would love for you to be my guest. Everybody has a story and I would love for you to be on the show. Um, and I know I was talking about something else. Oh, that I do a lot of different stuff. I've been in management. 
And I, I worked with Ray Obiedo back in the day when he was on Wyndham Hill. I've managed my own career, but I also had two brothers, my brother Nino and my brother Mitch, who's still here on the planet, helps me out. Self-represented artist. Lulanza. Hi. Oh, I know. But when you come back, when you get back down to a less craziness, come back to 1111. We miss you and we miss your stories about your kids. Congratulations for being swamped. Self. Andy Milne. What was I doing in the year or so before COVID? Touring about 200 dates a year. Working between my gigs with Rolf and working with Jenna and the Charmers. And I also teach a workshop called Scat for Cats where I go into schools and I work in nursing homes. I work with people from the age of three to 107, body, body integrating yoga and music and we write songs and we draw and it's, I had been scheduled for a lot. And then like all of you, it all stopped. But that was also why 1111 with Jenna started because I was quarantined in my house. I couldn't see my mom. I had just come back. Rolf and I did a, a festival down in Mexico, San Pancho Music Festival. And I was in Mexico kind of living the life going, did you hear about people are talking about they're making hand sanitizer and they're running out of the hand sanitizer and they're running out of toilet paper. And does anybody have any more tequila? And then one morning I woke up in Mexico overlooking the ocean. And I thought, if I don't leave today, I might get stuck here. Wouldn't be bad, but I wanted to go see my mom. So I flew out on March 11th. And that was the day that they closed down at the airports, but I got in at seven in the morning and just whoosh, snuck through. And three days later, I was pretty sick. So, oh, thank you. Hi, Andy Mill. Nice to see you and nice to hear you. And wow, what you're doing is is really great too. And maybe one day we we did a gig together. We'll do that again sometime, I hope. I want to play with everybody. I, I have no, I, I'm, I'm not, um, I want to play with everybody and I want everybody to, to keep working and start working and support each other. I'm one of those really, I really believe that we make this all happen together. And I'm struggling, you know, like everybody's trying to figure out what we're going to do next. And I don't know when I'm going to get back. I've been on a plane three times, four times to see friends and to play music and hang out with my family on the West Coast. And Rolf and I have some stuff booked in 2022. I think it's going to happen, but the, um, the, the Scat for Cat stuff and working in senior centers, I've been doing some Zoom stuff with the kids and with the the seniors, man, they're so cool. It's such a gift. That's my, that's my biggest. I just, I love, I was a Montessori teacher for 17 years and I love working with the little ones, but I love learning people's stories and hearing about just how they, how they've had their life on the planet, which is really hard right now. My mom is 90 and we live together and she's, Oh, there I am. I'm like, what happened? So um, watching, you know, kids, how they people say these, these poor kids have had a rough time in school. I'm watching my mom, who's 90, who had a pretty active life prior to COVID and the pandemic. And it's learning how to navigate with her has been really interesting. And we get in the car and we drive around and we see our friends and I make a lot of food. 
Have I had an opportunity to pro perform outside the country in my life? Yes. Rolf and I have performed in, wow, these are really, they look dirty, but they're not. In Europe quite a bit, Canada, um, Mexico. I haven't performed in Asia yet. I want to perform in Japan. Um, that's about it as far as performing, but all over Europe. No, not since COVID. No, I've, I've been to the West Coast and I've been to California and I've been to Washington State since I've been since last year, since I left Mexico, February, March 11th. But I make a lot of food and I make a lot of desserts and I, my mom and I cut up slices of pie and brownies and fun stuff for people and drive around and I sing a lot at home and I would love to continue doing what I'm doing. I don't know what it's going to look like. I still make CDs and I will continue to do that. And I'm not as technological as Miss Gail Boyd is, but I know enough to get myself in trouble. And I'm always interested in learning more of how to get the music out there. Hey, hey, Bonnie, thank you. And I learned, I've, I've always been a bit of a healer. I've been teaching yoga and studying yoga since Lilia's yoga is when I was four years old. Some kids were watching Sesame Street and I was watching Lilia's yoga. And I've actually had my yoga mat autographed by her and it, that stays in that corner right there. You're so not technological. She's like, and then when you see this, and then when you do this, and then you do this, and I'm, you know, I have these cool lights. Check this out. Do you have this, Gail? Woo um, I like the lights. That's fun. But let me tell you about my show really quick. Um, oh, the one thing I was saying, I, I pride myself in learning about being a healer. Bonnie Barker, who is on right now. Oh, oh, so much fun last night. Gail, come back anytime. Bonnie Barker is a master. She's a Reiki master and she's here right now. And I studied with her this summer. It's about 110 degrees where we were up north in California and so I'm doing that these days. And I do that on my mom and my dog and my dog's friends and all that kind of stuff. But 11.11 with Jenna happens every day at 11.11 a.m. and 11.11 p.m. Eastern time. So when I'm in California, it's 8.11 a.m. And 8.11 p.m., which is easier than 8.11 p.m. a.m. Like I just kind of go, okay, let's do this. And I don't drink coffee. So that's always fun. But the other thing that I've been doing this past year is I'm studying in a functional medicine group and I do coaching for people, healing and with food and supplementation. Doo -doo -doo. There you are. I don't know. Does that mean I go off air or something when that happens? Sorry. But Gail, you know what I just read you guys? Gail Boyd just said that I'm the coolest. I, I'm, this is kind of, Gail, do you have a bobblehead? I know it doesn't really look like me, but, but she's got, I have a red dress. Have you discovered any new music since you've been home quarantined? a lot. I have it on my phone and I listen to, I'm a seventies on seven, seven girl. And I listen to, of course, Mark Ruffin and not, you know what I did discover what I am really digging right now is Lucille Ball did her own um, podcast and it, they're streaming them now on that. That's why I got serious. So I've been actually 
not listening to anything. I can't think of anything new that I've been listening to. Doing what I do, and I love learning as much about it as I can. And I'm trying to, like I said, getting a little bit of technology in here or there. But, um, and I go for walks a lot. Walk, walk, walk. I walk and I walk and I walk. And I do talk a lot, don't I? Hey, there's two of me now. Oh, there's one. Okay. So Monday mornings, we meander. Monday night, we meditate. Tuesday morning, my friend Patty comes on and we cook. Tuesday night, I have an acupuncturist, hypnotherapist, Dr. Andrew Rader. Wednesday morning, I walk. Wednesday night's community. Thursday mornings, my friend Michael comes on. Thursday night's conversations with the creatives. And also the third Thursday of each month, Corona Roki International Limited that Dave Love and I produced together. Hello, Dave Love, if you're here. And let me book, let me hit this again. Oh, I know, I don't know why. I'm not even cold. That's the weird part. So Corona Roki International Limited. You guys come and perform. It's a blast. And then Friday mornings, my cousin comes on and he talks about the desserts that he gets in LA. And Friday night, tonight, because tonight, it's display and share, as in C-H-E-R. Does anybody know share? If you know share, I want share. I mean, I've had Gail Boyd on my show. I've had, I've had hundreds of people on my show. In fact, next Friday. So Friday night's display and share. Saturday morning, my friend Jeff Metzger's on. One more Saturday morning. Saturday night, Gary Lambert, who works for The Grateful Dead, and he's on Sirius XM. He's on one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. And then Sunday mornings, my friend Alex Martinez and other stuff. And Sunday nights, Poetry Glam. If any of you are poets, Gail, or love to read poetry, Gail, or anyone else, please, please, please come check out the show. It's on my personal page. I don't know why I'm freezing. I hope I don't freeze anymore because I'm, because now I'm all chill. Can we do another half an hour, please? Can we start over? Um, but if you have any questions, I can answer them really quick because we have about a minute. Oh, cool. Gail's coming back. She's coming back. If anybody wants to give me a letter, I'll sing us out because I know it's almost time to go. And I'm so happy to be here. If you give me a letter, I'll sing you a song. And I won't go too short, but I might go too long. L is for the way you let me come on your show oh i am so happy to be here that's not the way it goes i will sing for you gail boy anytime you'd like i say and i would like that all of you Stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice and have lovely thoughts, lively words, and a, a luscious heart. I think I gotta go real soon, and I'm happy for you. I don't know, but I will sing for you. A thank you, Gail Boyd, for creating alternative venues for jazz. Yes, alternative venues for jazz. Yes, that's the way it goes, and that's what we're going to do. So all of you, please love hard. Be real nice to each other. Practice. And we're going to get through this. We are getting through this. We're here. And it's an honor, an absolute honor to be a part 
of such an incredible family. And all of you of my friends that are jumping on, become a member of Alternative Venues for Jazz. See you guys.